Bless you. Bless you. Llama Llama Red Pajama hollers loudly for his mama. Baby Llama stomps and pouts. Baby Llama jumps and shouts. Llama Llama Red Pajama in the dark without his mama. Eyes wide open, covers drawn. What if Mama Llama's gone? Look at Mama Llama. Look at Mama. Mama Llama Red Pajama weeping, wailing for his mama. Will his mama ever come? Mama Llama, run, run, run. My name is Emily Bridgers Benson. I am a CrossFit owner, a former athlete, and mom. I was a gymnast for 16 years. Uh, I started competing at age seven, and that took me through high school, um, where I was a level 10 gymnast, and then um, it brought me to the University of Georgia, where I was a gymnast for one year. Uh, we won the 2006 National Championship title, and I retired after my freshman year due to a back injury. I had kind of a weird downtime where I didn't realize how much of my identity it was, but um, I was definitely pretty sad during my remaining college years in terms of finding uh, what am I supposed to do. Um, so when I found CrossFit, that kind of um, gave me something back that I didn't know I was missing. And then when I was able to turn that into competition, um, that really kind of sparked something that was left unfulfilled for my gymnastics career. Going into 2018, um, you know, we committed to one more season. I had a lot of breakdowns that year. I was pretty over training that hard and that long of hours and my body just felt like it was kind of breaking down. Uh, but, you know, once I was committed, I wasn't going to back out. So really like one of my proudest moments or biggest weekends was 2018 regionals. And I was able to get like two records at regionals that year. Just knowing that I qualified for the games again um, after kind of just having like a weird year. Um, that to me stands out as like the highlight of that season. Um, making it to the games one more time for the fifth year in a row. Um, but I was just mentally prepared like that was my last season. So when I got hurt, I mean, I, I was able to, I did the first day of the games and then I got hurt the second day of the games during the obstacle course event. Um, but I, I still did the marathon row, I did the CrossFit total, we d I did the 30 muscle ups for time, I did that bike event. Um, so I, I was able to complete some of the games in 2018. So when I got hurt, you know, the immediate question was, are you gonna give it one more season? And I'm like, no, like 365 more days of training. Um, so like it was sad, but I was prepared to be done like two days after that anyway. So, I mean, I guess, like the only sad part was I, I missed out on like the really fun events and the events that I would have excelled at that year. Um, but at that point, my ultimate goal wasn't necessarily to win the game. So it wasn't so much of a letdown as some people would expect, I guess. All right, go ahead and stand up. And let's just get your hamstrings stretched out, reach to the ceiling, reach down to your toes. In 2018, leading up to retiring from the games, I would ask Ben all the time, like, is it going to be okay when, when we no longer have this? And he's like, yes, it's going to be fine. Um, but I will say it was a pretty strange transition. Like, um, being done like that fall, I mean, it was kind of like, okay, I know I want to focus all my energy on the gym now. Uh, but it was... It was pretty tough. I mean, we had we had our fair share of arguments that year. And then, I mean, basically just making the decision, okay, are we definitely gonna have kids? When do we wanna try? Like, um, and knowing that we needed at least a few months of just downtime without pressuring ourselves um, to, to getting into parenthood quite yet. But, um, you know, we were pretty fortunate. We decided, okay, beginning of 2019, let's see what happens, you know, we. We didn't know how long it was gonna take for us. Um, and then we were lucky to that it happened really quickly. Um, so 
Now we do have, um, you know, running the gym together, parenting together. Uh, now we've been quarantined together for a while. <laughs> uh, so it's been a lot. I mean, there's definitely time where you, when you need some separation, some time with friends. Uh, but I feel like we're handling it pretty well so far. Look, it sounds just like the rain outside. Here's your favorite one. Here's your favorite one. <laughs> yeah, I would say I always knew I wanted to be a mom. Um, I grew up with an older brother and a younger sister, so just having siblings and growing up in a family with kids, I mean, I kind of want the same thing for myself, but with, you know, having that competitive CrossFit side, I just kind of always said like, well, you know, and maybe in a few years, maybe in a few years. But then I think this happens to a lot of people, like, right when I turned 30, I'm like, oh, I really need to like start thinking about well like when are we actually gonna make this happen and how and how many years do I do I have left competing um, so I needed to evaluate like okay is my goal still to win the games make it to the games how many more times so I gave it I guess a couple more seasons after I turned 30 um, and a little bit of convincing by my mom was you know not quiet and putting on the pressure of when, are you get, when am I gonna have grandkids? Um, so, you know, there was a lot of that that going on. Um, but yeah, I always, I always knew I wanted to have her. <laughs> Hi, come here. One of the main reasons that I stopped competing is to have a child and just to put less focus on myself and, and now, you know, focusing on raising her. Um, so I kind of keep reminding myself of that. Um, in training now, it looks a lot different. Um, you know, coming off the ankle injury and then nine months of pregnancy plus postpartum. Um, I just try to put no pressure on scores or weights that I can lift. But there are times where thoughts creep in and I get competitive with myself or maybe I see somebody do a workout and I'm like, oh, I could still do that. Um, so I would say about like once a week, maybe once every two weeks, I do something really stupid that I have no, no business doing, way too many reps or basically I get in that competitive mindset probably once a week and you know, thoughts creep in of like, well, could I compete again or should I compete again? Um, and I mean, I would say it's something I don't have the answer to yet. I struggle with still. Um, people ask, I would say once a day at the gym of if I want to compete again or if I'm going to compete again. And I mean, I don't know. Um, if local competitions open back up, I'd like to take people from the gym and introduce them to that aspect. And if I could jump into a team competition. Uh, hopefully that would be received well from, <laughs> from others. Uh, but then, you know, if, I'm gonna participate in the open, so we'll see what happens. I mean, I'm 33. I never thought I had the desire to, to compete as a master's athlete, but um, if it happens, it happens, I don't know. Um, but really my, my number one priority is Riley and taking care of her. So whatever happens beyond that, uh, hopefully it happens naturally. The trade-off with giving up my competitive career and becoming a mom has been so worth it. I mean, I would say better than I expected. Um, there's definitely like, I think having a baby, you know, it, sometimes it's lonely. Like you're on a baby schedule. You're not hanging out with friends like you used to. I'm definitely not taking CrossFit trips like I used to. So there's, I would say like part of Missing the competition experience is the relationships that you form all over the world that you know you're not you don't get to be a part of as much. Um, 
So it's not even just the athletic side, it's the relationships. Um, but having her has exceeded all of my expectations, so I would give that up again and again.